parents, how parents behave. Amen? Yeah. So, children, what I'm saying here is, children will learn from how you behave, how you face situation. Amen? Can you understand what he's saying? A 
godly father and godly parents now will produce a blessed generation. Amen. It's very important. Kita sebagai bapa, kita sebagai mama, kita sebagai parent. Yeah. A godly parent will produce godly generation. Tapi an ungodly parent will produce an ungodly generation. Amen. Jadi lah, jadi mari lah. Siapa yang belum kawin di sini masih single di sini, make a make a commitment in your heart that I want to be a godly mother, I want to be a godly father. Amen. Yang mencari Tuhan. Because he, kau punya keturunan banyak di pengaruhi oleh who you are, right? Amen. Yeah, one thing. Yeah, you may not see it now, but down the road, yeah, they will praise you for who you are. They will always remember you for your faith in God. Amen. Okay, next, the third one. First, Father who are blessed, who are. <coughs> Uh, who experience the power, the love of God are those who are seeking God. Amen. Second, they are they live a godly life. Third, they are those who are keep on serving in the kingdom of God. Amen. Yeah. A godly father, godly mothers always take care of their family. Don't think of Jairus. They sanggup cari Tuhan. Sanggup. Do whatever he can untuk dia punya daughter, dia punya anak-anak. Always do the best. Yeah. Now the third one, ketiga adalah those who are serving in the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Kadang-kadang kita pikir ayah pergi gereja ikut program gereja itu bikin wasting time. No, tidak. Yeah. Serving in the kingdom of God, the Bible says there is a great blessing. Amen. Yeah. In Luke chapter 18, 29, 30, one of the disciples of Jesus said, "Hey, Lord, apa lah kami dapat? Kami kasih tinggal, kami punya kerja, kami kasih lepas, kami punya keluarga, kami kasih lepas, kami kami kasih tinggal rumah untuk ikut kau. Apa lah yang kami dapat? <laughs> Selalu kita tanya begitu kan? Aja, sibuk-sibuk pergi church, sibuk-sibuk pergi ikut itu gereja punya aktiviti. Apa lah saya dapat? Nah, tidak dapat buat pengertian, tidak dapat tahu apa Kadang-kadang kita buat comparison begitu kan? But you see what uh, what Jesus said in Luke chapter 18, 29, Truly I tell you, Jesus said to them, No one who has left home or wife or brothers or sisters or parents or children for the sake of the kingdom of God will fail to receive many times as much in this age and in the age to come. Amen. So tidak payah tunggu mati baru dapat reward. While we are still alive and serving the Lord, we are we can experience the blessing. Amen. Kita boleh kita boleh mengalami kebaikan Tuhan, perlindungan Tuhan, ya, selagi kita masih hidup di dunia ini. Amen. The blessing is now and later. Ya. Bukan after life. While we are still on earth, while we are still serving in the kingdom of God, kita boleh dapat mengalami kebaikan. Alhamdulillah. Amen. Because you see, bila kita melayani Tuhan, we are always exercising our apa humility. Always put others above self. 
self-sacrifice, we practice self-sacrifice lebih baik untuk melakukan untuk kebaikan Allah. Amin. Kadang-kadang kena panggil pukul 11 malam. Kisik-kisik, eh, pasti. Ataupun kamu kena, eh, boleh tolong kau? Boleh tolong kau? <laughs> Sometimes during inconvenient time, di orang masih minta kita tolong dia. Ya, dan kita cuba our best. We try our best to help them. Ya, we don't have all the resources, but we always walk by faith, not by sight. Amen. Hallelujah. So a father who serves in the kingdom of God, mereka selalu mengalami kebaikan. Amen. Yeah. There was a story. This is a real story. Next. I double check, and this is actually the real story. <laughs> yeah. And there are what ini daripada story ini there are what satu YouTube punya video. Saya sudah post di kamu punya channel, kamu punya group, kita nang punya group. Yeah. According to a biography, biography written by Audrey Davis. Yeah. Dia sangat rapat dengan Dr. Howard Kelly. Yeah. Actually ada banyak cerita yang begini, tapi this is the true one yang confirm punya memang betul cerita dia. Ya, yeah. where the, the the title was Bill paid in full by a glass of milk. Ya. Yeah. Howard Kelly dia bukan orang miskin. Ya. Yeah. Memang orang yang berada juga. But there was one time he went out and he was thirsty and he dropped by, uh, he stopped by to a house. He was asking for uh, a glass of water, yeah, drinking water. But the woman, yeah, the lady, instead brought a glass of milk. Yeah, a jug of milk, bukan water. Dia boleh bagi nanti. But later after that, because the Howard Kelly was a doctor, a medical doctor. Yeah. Now the word, the same lady had a problem. She went to, she was admitted to the hospital, and when Howard Kelly heard about that lady and dari mana dia? Dia ingat, terus dia ingat, oh there was an incident, ada satu incident di mana ada seorang ini lady 